Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to disable Microsoft Software Protection. Now what it is, is it's a process or service that Microsoft has included in its Windows 10 operating system. And essentially what it does is it checks for pirated software and handles activation and keys and that kind of thing. So it's something that um, most users don't really care for, something that's a pain, because as you can see here, it's sparking up between 0 and 25% CPU usage. And so it can actually slow down your computer a fair bit depending on what time of, type of process you have. So today I'll be showing you how you can disable that. So the first thing we're going to be wanting to do is hit your start button and we're going to type in resource monitor. So we're going to hit enter, we'll open up resource monitor. And now we're going to look for this process. Now the name of this process here is actually sppsvc.exe. So we're going to hit image so that we're sorting it alphabetically and we'll scroll down until we see that process so s sppsvc.exe so there we have it there we're going to right click on that and we're going to suspend process we're going to hit suspend and then we can also hit end process now this may need to be all that you need to do however sometimes that doesn't work as we can see here we're still getting it here under our task manager even though we've ended the process and suspended it. So if that doesn't work, the next thing you're going to want to do is open up Start again, and you're going to want to open Task Scheduler. Because what Windows does is it has a task set that will automatically restart the process. So we're going to open Task Scheduler Library, we'll open up Microsoft, we'll open up Windows, and now we're going to look for Software Protection Platform. That's what that SPP stands for. So that's it there software protection platform. I'm going to look at this top task here. We make sure that these two down here are disabled. They are disabled. And so we see here SVC restart task is ready. And so that's set to restart at 7 p.m. every day. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that and we're going to hit disabled. As we can see, all three of these are now disabled. So that process is not going to restart. And as we can see, um, that process is still there, however it is on 100%, so that shows that it is not using any more of my CPU usage, so that's good. Um, but what I'll do is I'll actually still show you the very last um, step that you may need to do, and this will ensure that um, it doesn't come up ever again. So if you hit your Windows key and R, that'll bring up your little run box, and we're going to type in reg edit, and then hit OK. going to hit yes, and now we're going to need to look for... If we scroll all the way up to the top, minimize that, we're going to open HKey Local Machine, then we're going to open up System, then we're going to open up Current Control Set, Services, and then we're going to look for that SPPSVC. So we're going to scroll all the way down. Make sure that you um, find the exact right service and files and that kind of thing because you do have the ability to screw things over in your computer if you disable the wrong things in regedit. So we've got SPP, SVC, we've got that there, and then we're going to look for start. Now this is the startup schedule, or rather this, the value that you could set for it to start up. We're going to change this to 4, which is to disable it. So we're going to hit OK. As we can see, that value has now been changed to 4. So now that that's done, that's it. Um, you can go ahead and restart your system, and you should be free um, of the Microsoft Service Protection Platform um, high usage bug that you see on a lot of machines. So thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.